Should we loot him? I mean, if we're gonna be bad, <laughs> we might as well just be bad, right? <laughs> oh, we got bad guy points. What do we get though? A dollar twenty-four and some gin. And yeah, that's all we got. <laughs> can we can we take anything off it off of his horse? Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, did I deserve that or what? Welcome back everybody to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm an old guy gaming and we're going to pick up kind of sort of where we left off. Uh, I've actually been live streaming for about an hour or so. Uh, trying to get caught back up to sort of where we were left off. And I say sort of because I'm still <laughs> still a little uncertain about, you know, what progress we lost and so on and so forth. So let me just, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of cover what we have done uh, before I started the recording. So we went back into Valentine and we once again uh, took the bounty quest where we had to go get the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the peddler guy that was selling tonics that were killing people. So we did that again and I ended up, uh, dropping him in the river uh, once again, but uh, but I, I found out that that's actually supposed to happen, so there was nothing I could do about that. So we chased him down the river. I managed to not, uh, you know, ride my horse over a, wa a waterfall this time like before, uh, you know, so so the horse was fine. And we, we managed to lasso him and bring him back, so we finished that. I went back over to the saloon here uh, to do the, to redo the gunfighter thing, and it didn't trigger, so I don't know if that'll become available again later on or if we lost it, which would be kind of unfortunate. But if, you know, if that's what happened, that's what happens. I have a re-enabled auto saving, um, you know, on the game. So hopefully that'll help. And I'm trying to be a little more conscious of, you know, making sure to save before we start quests and that sort of thing. Uh, so that's where we're at. So we got, uh, we got some quests that we're going to continue working on because uh, for what I'm being told, uh, we still need to keep questing in order to unlock more things that are currently not available to us. One of them being, or two of them being, uh, being able to upgrade the camp with ammo and upgrade the camp with medical supplies. Because I've been told that once we can start doing that, then that's going to also benefit us uh, later on down the road. So um, essentially what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and continue working on some quests. So we've got something over here that actually just unlocked. And what is that? Oh, that's Hosea. Okay, so that's new. Yeah, that's new. Uh, the other thing, too, if you guys uh, aren't watching the VOD, so if you didn't see the first part of the stream, uh, we talked a little bit about the Trapper and how the Trapper is not currently showing up on my map. He certainly was at those points in the video that you guys pointed out in the YouTube comments. He was kind of, at one point, he was like right down and about in this area, but he's no longer there. However, we did play a little, uh, a couple hands of poker with Pearson right when we first started the stream, and Pearson actually mentioned the trapper to us, but I still don't see the icon appearing on the map. So we're just going to continue doing our thing, and hopefully, eventually, we will run into him. I, deal, I still have the legendary bear hide right here at the edge of camp, and I'm assuming it'll stay there uh, in perpetuity until we do something with it. If it doesn't, uh, I don't think that matters because from what I understand, we'll still be able to get credit for killing the bear and get the stuff once we do find a trapper. So that's pretty much where we're at, you guys. And so we have four options here for questing. We can either go find Hosea. We can uh, do these two quests here. I think this one here is the uh, the, o, the, uh, the O'Driscoll guy at the camp. And then that's uh, Leopold. So he's got something for us to do. Or we could go down and um, talk to Javier Escuela way down here. So I'm kind of thinking that we, well, why don't we just keep working on the stuff in the camp since it's right there, and then, you know, we'll go from there. So I think that's what we'll go ahead and do. All right. So without further ado, let's get started here. Uh, I want to remind you guys, too, that uh, I am going to, it is my plan to start live streaming on YouTube every Saturday afternoon playing Valheim. We, we, we did it yesterday. It was my first time live streaming on YouTube, and we had I had a blast, man. It was just so much fun. So uh, if you guys get a chance, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to talk to the peeps here. Like the <laughs> the preacher's got a problem, doesn't he? Anyway, um, we had a great time on the live stream. Will you get away from me? What the hell's the matter with you, man? 
he's following me around. Can I can the I cold cock him? He swirls his red as a lobster. I don't need this right now. I fell and broke my poor knob, sir. <laughs> watch what the hell? Pitch from my fob, sir. Actually, I want to listen to a song. Hold on a second. I'll never get drunk no more. I'm resolved to try it. Are you mad at me? No. Stick to no. A I'm just trying to find it. i it. i i Is he is he done? <laughs> it's just, this game, man. I tell you what, there all kinds of random stuff just happens out of the blue, and uh, it, it's just it's worth if you can if you can catch it. It's usually worth doing even for a good laugh if for no other reason. Okay. Anyways, what I was saying was that we had a really good. Do me a favor. Nothing too. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. What do you want, Dutch? I've been working hard, Dutch. Yeah, I have. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. I'm not your son. <sighs> okay. All right. <laughs> Case in point, right? Stuff just happens out of the blue. Anyway, um, what I was saying is we had a great time yesterday during the live stream uh, of Valheim on YouTube. And I'm planning on doing it again next Saturday. So if you guys want to stop by, um, it's going to be in the afternoon, mountain time, 1 or 2 p.m., just depending upon how soon I can get started. So uh, there you go. Public service announcement over. Let's get started here. So he wants us, Dutch wants us to talk to Strauss, and he's here. So let's let's do it. There's no reason not to that I can think of. See what this guy has to say. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Interesting, Put okay. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Individuals that owe the gang money are marked on the map with LS dollar sign uh, for Leopold Strauss. Seek out the debtors and recover the money. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do some uh, we're going to do some muscle work here for our loan shark buddy. Radar blips that cover large areas are meant to be searched. Yeah, we kind of know that. Wait, do we have a blip going on? Okay. I know. Let's listen to what these ladies are saying. Where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. That's the lady. So Arthur. Uh, when I was in Valentine, nosing about, I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Oh, really? Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. How you doing? Will do. Interesting. Dan, weren't you, like, oh, telling me shop robbery? Weren't you telling me there was something to do at the doctor's office? I bet you that's what it was. Hold one for details. Okay, Pearson has asked for a naval shop robbery. 
there are rumors about Valentine, uh, Valentine Doctor. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, about the Valentine Doctor being involved in some shady activities. Look around the shop to investigate. Okay, cool. Um, Leopold Strauss. Leopold Strauss introduced Arthur to his usury business. Okay, yeah, yeah. A bounty hunting good honest snake. Oh, this is just the log from the mission brief. Stop Benedict. So this suggests that you can stop him from falling, but man, I was hitting that E key as quickly as I could, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened there. So we didn't do so good on those uh, achievements, but you know, it is what it is, right? A naval compass. Okay, I do remember him asking me about that. We've got a platinum compass and a gold compass, but we don't have a naval compass. So we'll have to be on the lookout for that sort of thing. Okay, guys, let's go um, collect some money. We are now um, a money collector for a bit here. Let's look on our map and see where we need to go to do all of that. So we got someone down that direction. We've got two down this direction. Wasn't the Hosea thing over here, too? So we could maybe kill two birds with one stone. This one's closer to the camp, so let's do this one first. Mr. Roble. We'll put it in a waypoint there, and we'll go say hello to Mr. Roble. See how things go. Getting a little bit foggy out, isn't it? Hey, what's going on, Pearson? Mr. Morgan, you seem chipper. Well, where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Yeah, right. Whatever, Dutch. Uh, let's see, which way are we going? We're going the stew is currently being prepared to check after today. Yeah, I think we're good on that. How's our cores doing? Let's take a look. Eh, they're not terrible. Should we should we take a little bit of a nap before we head out? Just to get kind of get rested up and restored. Where is our where's our place at? Oh, you're gonna catch your death if you don't get warmer. Will you quit saying that? It's really foggy out right now, too. All right, so if we sleep till noon... Yeah, we've been up all night doing bounties and stuff like that, so we need a little bit of rest. So let's sleep till noon, and then we'll head out. That'll restore our cores, and we'll be feeling good. Maybe the stew will be done by then, too. Okay, cores are all refreshed. And it's noon, so we still have half a day left. So let's head on out. I'm just curious, did the game auto-save when we slept? Uh, if we go to story and save. Uh, I don't know if it did or not, but let's just do our own manual save anyway, just in case. Because we don't want to lose any more progress. It sucks, man, that, we, that that's happened. Okay, let's go, Freckles. Freckles, who doesn't have any okay, Freckles? Boy. I kind of like Freckles. He's uh, he's growing on me. Well, he's a nice-looking horse. Okay, here we go. Still standing guard, Bill. Are you underneath the beehive? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Here, let's let's um antagonize Bill here a little bit. Remind me to never bring you to a bar again. I'll give it a rest, Morgan. <laughs> it is his fault that I got in the fight with that big, ginormous, uh, tiny Tim guy. Whatever, <laughs> whatever the hell his name was. Okay. Considering how terrible I am at fist fighting this game, I'm surprised we actually pulled that one off. But we actually got the gold on the re the achievements for that one. Sometimes old guy gets lucky. Oh, is that mountain lion scenario back again? What is this guy? What's good? Okay, we better go investigate. partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco 
It's Indian tobacco, I think, isn't it? gift to us all. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Okay. Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Press and hold near an herb to pick it. Right, okay. We, well, we've we already discovered this, so I guess... Um, I think this helps our dead eye core. So presumably he was just introducing us to it to it in case we hadn't already discovered it. I guess that's all that was about. So uh, let's go ahead and pick some, though. We really need to get working on uh, more inventory space, too. But um, apparently we're not able to do that until we get some more upgrades and stuff going. So the best thing we can do right now is just to keep questing, I think. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. Looks like this is the Ford here. Howdy. <clears throat> Mister? Go to hell. <laughs> what? Now that was downright rude. Are we gonna let this yeah. let that guy talk to us like that? I don't like the look of you. Hey, mister, can I have a word? You think I'm an idiot? Hell no! Well, doggone it. Yeah. I'm afraid you and I have to settle something here because. Let's see about this. What's your excuse for this, huh? Your skull is about to see some sunshine. Here it goes. Enemies were no, wait. Enemies were led to camp. What? What just happened? Oh, oops! <laughs> I think uh, we made a little mistake there, maybe. So did it just? Uh, did it? So that's it? Like that's game over? And we have to do a save? Any bodies found will be reported to the law and dispatch. Investigate. Hide. Or suppose the bodies to avoid the water detention. All right, wait a minute. What the hell, man? Okay, we still have our our stuff here. So it, apparently it reloaded our manual save, I guess. I don't know. That was weird. Okay. I wasn't actually planning on shooting that guy in the head. I was going to lasso him and rough him up a little bit, but I pulled my gun out instead of my lasso. So my bad. <laughs> apparently apparently we get it, get to start over anyway, so... That just never happened, you guys. It just never happened at all. It was a bad... You know, Arthur laid down to take a nap, right? And he had a little bit of a dream that he went and messed around with some guy. He didn't mean to actually kill him, but he ended up killing him and in the process led some enemies to camp. And then the world went to hell. And But it was just a bad dream. So, you know, we're back. Everything's good. And we're going to continue on. Yep. And let's also make sure that our lasso is ready to go. You know what we need to do? is we need to okay so one is pistol um or or shotgun so it toggles between both okay two is nothing why is two nothing i don't know i don't know why two is nothing but this uh let's get our carbine in this slot and let's get our i guess we'll get our bow in that slot and our knife in that slot. Okay. So if we... One is pistol or shotgun. Here, here. If we set this to... If we have the wheel set to pistol. And we hit one. He pulls out the pistol. But if we hit one again, then he pulls out the... Nice horse crap there. <laughs> then he pulls out the shotgun. That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, two doesn't do anything. What does three do? Three doesn't do anything. What does four do? Wait, what? Did I, I just accidentally activated Eagle Eye. Okay. Four doesn't do anything. Five takes out the knife or the lantern. What does six do? Six takes out the bow only. 
because that's what's in that slot. Seven, seven's the lasso, or or dynamite. Oh. Okay, so I think what we need to do, because the lasso is usually something you got to pull out like all of a sudden, right? So I think we need to make sure that this is always set to lasso, and then we just need to remember to hit seven when we need the lasso quickly. And then right mouse button aims, left mouse button, when you hold it, swings it, and then when you release it, it lets it go. Okay. Yeah, I just need to practice with this stuff a little bit because I'm I'm still not really good with it yet. But, you know, by the, by the end of this series, we'll be like a pro cowboy. So right click to aim, left mouse button to swing and let go. Okay, and then tab to put away, and then if we have to take it back out, we hit seven. There it is. What? What? Now we got dynamite. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that it's switching on me. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's switching on me, man. What the hell? So tab to put away, seven to pull out, tab to put away, seven is dynamite. What? I don't like that, you guys. I don't like that system. It's going to get me in trouble. I'm going to go, go try and lasso a horse or something. I'm going to throw a stick of dynamite at him instead. I think, though, as long as we keep... As long as we make sure the lasso is what's showing on the wheel. And we hit seven once, it comes out. We just... The problem, though, is if I put it away, and then I hit seven again, then he pulls out the dynamite. I, yeah, I don't like that. That's going to get me in trouble, man. Is there, it's too bad I couldn't move the dynamite to a different slot, but it doesn't let me do that. So we're just going to have to make it work. Let's get our bow back in that slot. Knife is in that slot. So eight pulls out our carbine. And nine doesn't do anything. Zero doesn't do anything. So eight carbine. And then six was the bow or whatever else we eventually will put in that slot. So six, eight, and one are the guns. Seven is the lasso, right? There we go, okay. Except for now it's the dynamite. <laughs> That's just crazy. I don't like that, I really don't. Okay, here we go. We're screwing around. Well, no, we're not screwing around. We're trying to learn is what we're trying to do. Okay, Arthur, don't like Get all pissed off about some rude cowboy because you're just going to get yourself in trouble. Let's just go. Let's just go. Random events, man. Random events. take the dog by the ears or not i mean now nah, you know what i'm sorry i just have no way of knowing what's going on there and i'm not gonna interfere with yeah. problems that aren't my own until later okay, so let's go on up here One of Strauss's debtors was last seen in this area. Search the area to find them and reclaim the debt. Okay. How come my bow keeps getting out of that slot? It's so wonky, man. Anything for Eagle Eye here? Well, I reckon we ought to probably look inside the house first. It seems like uh, the reasonable course of action. And then we'll go from there. I hear a horse over by the barn there. Oh, what's going on over there?
Okay, let's let Freckles uh, drink from the trough here. And what we want to do is get the repeater out. And we might as well get the bow too. Oh, so we can't carry both of those at the same time? I thought we could put uh, one in that slot. Hold on a sec. If we hold tab, then we can pull it off and put... Oh, okay, I see how that works. Okay. Um, nope, I don't want that either. I want to put the carbine in this slot. And then I want to put the bow in the slot. Now, can I... Something just occurred to me. Can I get rid of the dynamite? No, nah, he doesn't... He doesn't put it on the horse. Because I don't really want to be carrying this around, you know what I mean? Hmm. Okay, well... So if we put that away, and then we... I almost think, you know what, you guys? I almost think it's going to work better for me to just use the wheel to select stuff. Because it does pause the game, or at least slows it way, way down. Uh, because I'm just going to get mixed up if I try and do this with the, with the keyboard keys. I don't like that, though. I do not like the fact that it toggles between, you know, different stuff. So we're probably just going to try and use the wheel for... for emergencies like that okay anyways let's go ahead and get started so apparently he's not at the barn here because all the little yellow stuff is around the house so we'll go up to the front door and knock politely and see what happens look at the scenery off in the background man that is beautiful so gorgeous you guys hello Mariski, how are you doing hope you're having a good day my friend can we knock on the door, or are we just going to let our... I guess we're just going to let ourselves knock, in. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. I'm sorry, I'm going to God damn it. Uh... Okay. English? Uh, you speak English? Me, uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh -huh. German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. Is very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Oh. Where is he? Oh. Oh. No. No. Nye. Nye. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it. You have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Stop! You name I'm Shiwi. Hmm. Um. Let's try a little. We're not going to kill him or seriously injure him, but let's just push him a little more here. Just sign. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. Uh, no, have money, but. but have this. He has this. Okay. What do you got? It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Notice valuable, how he can speak yes. English now. <laughs> I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there. Yes. 
Loot the house. Okay, so how do we know? The longer I look, the madder I get. How, how do we know what to loot or how much to loot? Can we talk to him again? Move? What you got behind there? So, uh, surprise, Move aside. Don't even speak English. What do we have here? Just keep quiet. Okay, so we got a gold wedding ring. So, okay. Be something somewhere. Rob or antagonize. I guess we just start looking around then. I'm assuming it'll tell me when we've f found enough stuff to cover the debt. Must come here with Cigarettes? No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Poor yes. guy. But you know what? You shouldn't borrow money from loan sharks. Not recommended because someone like Arthur might come along someday to collect. And you gotta pay your debts. That's all there is to it. At least I'm going to tell myself that so I don't feel so bad tonight. Antique watch. Debt successfully recovered. Okay. Okay. That should about cover things. Okay, let's close the drawer. Return the debt to camp funds or collect another debt. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, from the other guys. Okay. So, um, can we... We can't talk to him anymore. Sir, I recommend from now on that you... That you treat this day as a hard lesson learned and don't ever borrow money from Leopold Strauss or any other loan shark again. You have a good day now. See, that wasn't so bad. We roughed him up a little bit, but we didn't seriously hurt him. And we didn't completely rob him blind either. He's going to survive, and he's going to learn his lesson, and from now on he'll be a better person. Maybe. Okay, let's go. The horse is agitated. Must be calm before you can mount it. What? Easy, boy. You're okay. What's agit? Oh, it's not our horse. Is there yeah. something around here that shouldn't be around here? Why is the horse all irritated? Did we go in here? Oh, shit. Let's practice horse calming. Study. Hungarian half-bred. Let's, let's read up on this. Hungarian half-breds are... Shouldn't that be half-breed? Half-breds are strong war horses. They can be identified... By their large frame and noble head, the flaxen chestnut and piebald uh, Tobiano are found in the wild, while the dappled dark gray is purchable, purchasable from a stable. Their fearless nature makes them great for combat. They handle well, but are less healthy than other war horses. Their stamina levels are good with average speed and acceleration. Interesting. Okay, cool. I love this horse stuff, man. This is so neat. It looks like there's a lot of different horses we can eventually you know, discover too. Will he let me um calm him down? Nope, he doesn't. Okay. Well, he seems to be okay now, so we'll let him we'll leave him be. Hey, what's going on, Wyoming? You oh <laughs> you did this guy and took a bunch of his stuff? Yeah. He has a can I well, if I wanted to steal his horse, could I do it? I mean, I'm not going to, but I don't think I will. <laughs> Listen to me, man. I'm terrible. Maruski, I'm a terrible person. Um, so... Oh, we could steal his horse. Could we steal his horse? Look at that saddle, too. That's a nice saddle. You know, I'm not inclined to do this because, I mean, that guy, you know, he's probably just down on his luck and he needed some money. He just borrowed from the wrong dude. If we come across some other guy and he's an asshole, though, then we're going to probably steal his horse, if not just kill him outright. 
That way I'll feel better about myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and see what's next here. So we're going to look on the map here. Painted Sky. That's the name of this area. Diablo Ridge. Bard's Crossing. Why don't we just go for a little bit of a stroll? We're going to kind of go down around this way. And then we'll cross over here at Bard's Crossing and then work our way up this way. Just so we can kind of see the countryside a little bit. So I'm going to add a marker uh, right here. That way we know that's where we need to turn off. Okay, let's just go for a little bit of a ride here, folks. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous country. Let's see what kind of mischief we... Why is that horse still agitated? I don't know. He doesn't seem to have a reason to be unless... Maybe he's ill or something. I don't know. Look at the view. Oh, man, that is so neat. Is that an eagle? I can't tell. That horse is certainly upset about something, isn't he? So cool. Okay, let's go off this way. Yep. Yeah, I'm just doing it as a job. It's not... Oh, hey! That's not a trapper, is it? Let's go talk to this guy and see what's going on with him. He looks like a miner. He's a prospector. Is he friendly? Gotta get closer here. You're giving me your money. Oh, no! I hit the wrong button! I'm not... He's like going, uh, I don't give a shit. Just try it. Okay. Whew. <laughs> I hit the rob button, not the... I wanted to hit the greet button. It do, Wait a minute. It doesn't give me... It gives me a diffuse option. What? He's like going, I kind of don't care. Antagonize? You're a chump, partner. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. He's like, whatever. Oh, is he going to come and... All right, here. Let's let's talk to him on foot for a second. I'm probably going to get myself into some hot water here, but what else is here, right? Rob or antagonize? It doesn't give me the option to just say howdy, partner. I mean, I don't really want to rob the guy. Um. Yeah, you. You know I'm talking to you. He doesn't care. You know who the hell you're talking to? Oh. He does care. You thought twice, huh? Uh no. Don't care about the horse. I just wanted to say hello. He does got some nice equipment. We could maybe rob him. What's your guy? I'm talking. I'm done talking. <laughs> We gotta practice our fist fighting. Okay. Um. Let's pick up our hat. That's the most important thing we gotta do. <laughs> I'm an absolutely terrible person. This poor guy was just off minding his own business, moving his way uh, to his next prospecting site, and some asshole comes along. Starts poking fun of him and kicks the shit out of him. Knocks his teeth out. I hope he's not dead. I think he's still alive. Should we loot him? I mean, if we're going to be bad, <laughs> we might as well just be bad, right? <laughs> oh, we got bad guy points. What do we get, though? $1. twenty-four and some gin. And, yeah, that's all we got. <laughs> can, we, can we take anything off it? Up of his horse. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, did I deserve that or what? Oh. 
That is just hilarious. Oh, we're gonna have to put that one in the in the intro, uh, on the intro screen. That's that's got to be clipped. In fact, Maruski, will you please clip that for me? Oh my goodness, that was hilarious. Ah, okay. I feel like I got my just desserts out of that one. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you guys that was just that was just hilarious oh my goodness okay let's, <laughs> let's just move on oh boy I've done my penance and my word that hurt that horse kicked that tar out of me man <laughs> oh look at that pheasant nice oh okay <laughs> let's just move on oh man we need to go this way. <laughs> Punch the horse, though. I don't think so. I think that horse kicked the crap out of me, and I certainly deserved it, didn't I? Okay, where are we going? We are... Yeah, we're heading down here. <clears throat> That's a big old railroad trestle. Look at that thing. <laughs> you can't turn me in. This ain't just... Just? You robbed and murdered your way across half the country. It's all lies. I ain't never been more than five miles. See, how do we know? You what? keep lying. You gonna make me angry, boy. I ain't done a damn thing. We have no way of knowing what who's telling the truth in these situations. Where are they taking him? Keep your distance. Got a criminal here. Are you? Yeah, but hey! are you the law? Hey! You don't look like the lot of me. Let me see your badge. Then we warn you. Oh shit. Move along. Son of a bitch, kill him. All right, here. Let's get uh, this out. You couldn't leave it alone, huh? Shit. Come on, Freckles, hurry up. Okay, now this time we're not going to shoot the horse, we're going to lasso him. Hey, could you get me off this damn nag? Oh, I guess we don't need to. I hope this is a good guy because we just Please killed. don't leave me on here. We otherwise just killed a couple of innocent fellers. Okay, let's take him off. Hey, Set him down gently. Why don't you put me down, friend? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll cut him free. Come on, man, cut the ropes off. I'm working on it. Just relax. Oh, Damn it. It. oh boy. Uh, yeah, put the sure knife away. Everyone. If I'm gonna be hanged, at least let it be for a crime I committed. Okay. I'll um, let you in on a little secret. That doctor in Valentine is running a shady racket in the back room of his shop. You know, there's money in it, too. Ooh, money. All right, um, I guess we did a good thing there. I don't know. <laughs> There's just no way to know, right? The thing about it, though, was these guys did not come across as lawmen to me. So I think I think we probably made the right move. Oh, he's a bounty hunter. Oops. <laughs> Maybe we didn't make the right move. Shit. Uh, is there anybody else around? Yeah, there's a guy coming. We don't want to. We don't want to like loot him and have a witness. So here, let's just. And what? A nearby civilian sees it here. So they may come and investigate. All right, hold on. Christ's sake! Help! Help! Shit! Somebody help! <laughs> oh shit! There's another witness. Help! Hey! 
You ah! bitch. Oh. <laughs> Shit. One, oh, look, there's a bear. One thing leads to another, man. I was, uh, I was just going to try and convince him that he shouldn't turn me in. <laughs> I just murdered three people, you guys. Two bounty hunters and an innocent. Holy crap. Um, here, let's loot because, I mean, we might as well get something out of this. <laughs> And then we got to evade the law. But here, quick, loot. Loot's more important than uh, going to jail. Hurry up, hurry up. Loot, loot, loot. Okay, let's get out of here quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go, Frankles, go. Go, go, go. Uh, we got to get out of the territory here. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> all the day's work, man. Son of a... Um, let's wait for our wanted to go. Now we're going to have a doggone bounty on our heads. Well, hey, you know what? At least we let the that guy live. So we're not all bad. We're just about 85% bad. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, I could have, oh. You better have a goddamn good reason for being here. Wait a minute. What? Who are you? You'd better get on I thought you here. spoke, like, Polish, dude. That's it. Got All right, not got it. You guys just keep making me do this. The Polish guy is still in the house. Okay, here. Let's salute this guy because we killed him. Might as well. You don't want to waste your kills, right? You better keep your mouth shut. I could still kill you. Oh, oh, hey! Doggone it! You messed with the wrong guy. <laughs> Most of the bounty on your head. Avoid them or pay off your bounty at a post office. Well, so much for not killing the Polish guy. <laughs> Let's loot him, and then we, we better get the hell out of here. Um, drop off shotgun for warrant. No, we don't want to do that. Bounty hunters, remember previous crimes you committed in their state. Pay off your bounty at a post office. We got 53 cents. <laughs> hey, he look. He was holding out on us. He was holding out on us. What the hell? No, I'm not going to kill a dog, too. I've already done enough bad things for one day. Arthur's going to have a hell of a hard time hey, getting into heaven now. Come on. Dog, just go away. I don't want to kill you. Did I just kill the dog? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go and pretend like none of that ever happened. <laughs> horse! Horse! Might as well loot the house. Oh. Can we, can we take his horse? <coughs> the thing is, is we can't actually take that horse and keep it permanently, though, right? I don't think the game will let us do that. We could sell it without papers and make five bucks, but... Rope the, <laughs> rope the dog? Serious? It, no, it, can't. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Except I kind of want to loot the house now, but I don't want to kill the dog. Here, let's just see if we can... Whoops. You, you just go away. I'm just going to loot the house real quick. Stay outside. No dogs allowed. Is he going to, is he going to come in here? Okay. Here, we might as well... <laughs> Finish loot ass. Oh man, Arthur's gonna have a hard time sleeping tonight. That's just all there is to it. But at least he's gonna get some good loot. So silver linings and all that, right? Hair tonic. You picked up hair tonic. Use it to accelerate the growth of your hair. Oh, that'll be good the next time I accidentally get my beard cut off. Uh, okay. What else does he got? 
I wonder how high my bounty is. Okay, we got some smokes. It's like I said, you guys, if we're going to be bad, we might as well just be bad, right? Ooh, coin purse. Maybe that can pay off our bounty. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> okay, we have $102.55. Cover scent lotion, that's for, uh, I think that's for uh, hunting. Candy. All right. Does candy restore one of our cores? Is there something up here that we missed? No, it doesn't let us uh, get to that thing up there. <clears throat> you hope the next guy that I collect a bounty from doesn't get the same nice treatment? Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> oh, man. It's kind of crazy. Ooh, wow. Platinum chain necklace. I'll bet that's worth some money. It's kind of funny how one thing led to another there, huh? And I and somehow or another, I, I ended up coming back and killing the guy whose life I felt good about sparing. I'm a piece of work, aren't I? There's something else there. I think we already looked in here earlier, didn't we? Uh, cigarettes. I thought we already took his cigarettes from there. All right, what do we got here? Nothing there. <coughs> Potent snake oil. Search drawer. Nothing. Anything over here? Nope. Alrighty. Got ourselves an apple. But that guy didn't do his dishes. More candy, <clears throat> excuse me, and some ground coffee. You've picked up coffee, brew it at your camp to restore your dead eye core and stamina core. I think we need to do that too. All right, <clears throat> well, yeah, we are, we're a bad person. We are a very bad person. Um, I think what we're gonna do though is Set up camp because it's it's dusk anyway. Make ourselves some coffee so we can get our dead eye core restored, and then figure out what our next move is. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, okay freckles. Let's just kind of go off over into the trees here. This way. Because it would Come be on. like. The height of arrogance for Arthur to camp on the lawn of the guy he just murdered. <laughs> we need to at least go off into the woods. We need to at least kind of pretend like we're on the run from the law now. <clears throat> so we're just going to kind of go over this way. Off into these trees over here and then we'll set up camp. Well, at least my horse still loves me. The game is set, so it's very hard to be a good guy. If you're the guy that's like um, on the back of a horse screaming, none of my business, you'll be fine. If you try to be nice, you'll end up killing somebody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a deer like right there. Dinner. Now, I, I don't have any dead eye core. I forgot I didn't have any dead eye core. Well, damn it. 
We did wound him, though, so... Uh, let's just... Let's follow him. Here, let's take something for the dead eye core too. So, this will fully restore a dead eye itself, but it damages. The, whoops, hold on. Damages the core. Here, let's just take this. All right. I would have taken my time and, you know, aimed a little bit better, but I thought I still had dead eye left. So, my bad. What's that? Oh, that's the deer. Okay, you didn't get that far. A rotten white-tailed deer? No, that ain't the deer. This animal's decomposed and can no longer be skinned. Really? Yeah, no, that's not the deer. I, th I, was, I thought that was so weird because it seemed like that deer had uh, run off a little further than that. Got a new herb here. Oregano. Nice. <clears throat> Let's take a look at it real quick. Hey, Dan, thank you very much for the resub, my friend, for 12 months, man. Yeah, oh, you're just doing it to <laughs> stop it from showing every time. Yeah, I get you. I understand what you're saying. <clears throat> yeah, we have the alerts turned off, everybody, just so you know, because we're, we're recording a YouTube episode. Um, So... That's uh, why you didn't hear that. Oh, but thank you very much, Dan. Really appreciate uh, 12 months of subbing. That's awesome. Okay, oregano can be recognized by their oval-shaped leaves and purple sprouting flowers. A bunch of other stuff. This is really what we care about. It can be used in oregano plump bird recipe. That sounds delicious. can also be used in spaghetti, too. Um, all right. Oh, what happens if we just straight up eat it? Nothing. I mean, we got something out of it, but not a lot. Okay, we got to track this deer. Wait, is that... That's not the same one we shot before, is it? Uh, is it a buck? I don't think that's the same one because we wounded that deer. It's probably off bleeding somewhere. We need to find it if we can. Uh, did we lose its trail, though, is the thing. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't, you know, paying really close attention, but I thought it ran off over that way, but I don't see a trail for it now. That is a buck. Okay, well, we got dinner there. This is a new... berry. Raspberries! Nice! I don't know we found raspberries, but we, we probably did, and we just lost it because of we lost some some progress there. Uh, red raspberry bushes are easily identified by their large size and the bright red berries, yada, yada, yada. Can be crafted into a potent herbivore bait. Nice. Okay. All right, let's go get this deer. We're going to set up camp, have some deer meat for dinner, and then go to sleep. Yarrows. It's kind of unfortunate that we lost that other deer, but not much we can do about it now, I guess. It's a poor buck pelt. Master Hunter, three of three deer skinned. Oh, nice. Okay. So, Master Hunter 2 unlocked. Collect three perfect quality rabbit pelts. We're going to have to go buy that 22 rifle again. <clears throat> All right, let's go stow this on the horse. We're just going to sell it because it isn't really worth anything else. 
Yeah, we did we get um some meat off this thing? I don't know if we did or not. You have unlocked new reinforced equipment at the trapper. That'd be nice if we could find the trapper, then we could actually make use of that. Do we see a trapper paw anywhere around now? Ah, uh, I don't see one anywhere. Yeah, we'll come across them eventually. When skinning an animal, you can also take the meat from the carcass. Set up your camp to cook this meat. Alright, well, here. The thing is, is that I already, that I already take the meat. Hold on a sec. Let's take a look here. Cooked game meat. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let, let's let's go ahead and set up camp first before we do anything else. I don't know if it's going to set the camp up right here on the edge of the cliff or not. It tends to kind of move us around sometimes. All right, craft and cook. Plain venison. Okay, so it looks like maybe we did get the meat. Um, recipe one of four. Oh, the binoculars will tell you if the hides are in what condition they're in. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Do the Hosea mission next to unlock the trapper and the hunting quest. Okay. We can do that. All right, let's eat. That almost got our uh, dead eye core all the way back. <clears throat> oh, yeah. See, this is the, this is, <coughs> excuse me, another bug. Um, it doesn't work when I hit my mouse button four, so I have to actually do that instead. Okay, so all of our cores are restored. Uh, let's make some coffee, and that's going to give us... Excuse me, some dead eye core. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I said all, not my cores, but all of the bars were restored. Now we got to re restore the core. The core is the thing in the middle, in case you guys didn't know that. There we go. Now the dead eye core is restored. Um, what does show all mean? Oh, okay. So everything here is is plain, but I I have some herbs to make some of this stuff. Plain prime beef. Ooh, that sounds good. Prime rib. I love prime rib. I get, I'm probably there's probably something I haven't unlocked yet to to make the nicer recipes I'm guessing okay show craftable plain stringy meat let's make some of this too while we're here oh no no I didn't want to cook the perfect bat wing oh no I think the wing is different than the actual bat let's stow this for later oh I gotta click this Okay, um, time to sleep. So let's sleep till morning. Yeah, we did. We did the um, the legendary bear in, uh, last weekend when we streamed. Tear down camp. Oh, 
Oh, wow. So it had us set up camp right next to the decomposed deer. I thought something kind of smelled weird last night. All right. Let's move on. However, what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to save our game so we don't lose any progress. We'll just keep using up all the slots and then we'll cycle back down through them afterwards. Um, except for slot one, because slot one's the one that the autosave thing apparently uses. And guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the YouTube episode here. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, don't forget that we're going to uh, be streaming Valheim on YouTube on Saturday afternoons uh, moving forward. So hope to see you guys there, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.